because the land we stand on uh, is certainly the land of my ancestors. Uh, this land is Gimoy land, known as Keen. And today we celebrate uh, the practice of our sovereign rights to this land and to this country. And through welcoming you and others here tonight is another form of that continuation of our sovereign rights to this land. I want to say Nyundu Bilanguran, born by Gimoy. I want to welcome you all to our country, uh, we know as Gimoy, the city of Keynes. We should all be proud as Australians to be able to say we still have the tradition of an ancient people continuing and you see it tonight through the scarves, the silk scarves that we have and that many of you see here, that rich culture including we've just finished Kayaf which again depicts the, the diversity of this ancient culture and the land in today, the, the, it, it is just so enriching to all of us and to us as people from this great land. We're surrounded by that rich heritage of Gimo Walbra Yidinji people, the rich heritage of an ancient culture in an ancient land, and the ancient civilization of this country we call Gimoy. The land in Australia is a very much an ancient civilization in which we should be proud and all proud to be able to say. We live in a country where the continuation of an ancient civilization still reaps through the pathways of this land and trees, the desert, the rainforest, the oceans and the reefs. you're doing of course is you're, you're marrying an, a, ancient the ancient art of indigenous women from the Tanamai desert in the northern territory you know with with another very very ancient culture and of course we're talking silk from one of China's uh, fabled silk road cities of course Nanjing and and to tie the two of those ancient cultures together in the way in which you have I think is absolutely brilliant and I congratulate you for it. And that's what something that a piece of art can do to capture your mind, it will capture your heart, and if uh, you're very lucky, it captures your soul. And 
And what we know is when we see pieces of art uh, from the desert country, we know just how amazing uh, the palette is and how uh, it is unique to wherever uh, people's uh, uh, home country is. And it's one thing we know about Aboriginal people, it is that land and country is so important. It's more than just somewhere where they're from. It's a part of who they are. It's deeply ingrained in who they are. And it changes uh, the way uh, they look at themselves and it changes the way they look at each other uh, as a community. From what you have, you've captured something that is very, very special. I think you've captured it at a time when people are looking for this, for this type of product. And I think the beauty of it from two, two ancient cultures is something that's going to be very, very, you know, it's going to be very significant and I think it's going to work very, very well. To the land of milk and honey. It's respectful, it is taking a tradition that you know, we all absolutely love and honour and taking it not just in the Australian stage, but I think Curtis just said there, this is going to be a very, very international product that you're actually producing. The idea came from um, my love of Indigenous art. I'd worked um, for some time in the central desert region of Australia, had visited a lot of remote communities, um, had seen a lot of art centres in those communities and just fell in love with the, the art. It, it is so beautiful and the authenticity of it um, really inspired me because it, it's so ancient. These ladies, uh, the, the artists that we're using, are painting designs that um, their ancestors were painting on their bodies or um, you know, for ceremonial purposes thousands of years ago. We wanted our um, product to be something that was distinctively Australian and unmis unmistakably Aboriginal, so we've melded these beautiful, authentic, colourful um, artworks, original artworks, um, with some of the most beautiful silks in the world, which we sourced from um, the silk cities of China. So our first collection features silk um, from Nanjing, which is known as the City of Emperors. It has a, a silk making tradition that goes back um, you know, over 4,000 years. Perfect for, for somebody who's travelling, who wants a a, a fashion accessory that they can basically pull out of their, their carry-on <laughs> luggage and um, wrap around themselves when they arrive at their, their destination. Um, most of our scarves and wraps are very generously sized, so they um, you know, gain the versatility. It can be worn as a sarong, as a, a dress, as a, a, an elegant evening wrap. develop the artworks that we use on our designs under licence with the Art Centre and then a royalty from every garment sold is then returned to the artist. So for us it's a way of supporting art centres which are also um, a stronghold for um, Indigenous language and, and culture 
um, located on their ancestral homeland. So it's really assisting Aboriginal women artists to maintain their culture and, and their heritage um, on their own community. Most tourism studies um, show that when people come to Australia that they want an authentic Aboriginal experience and I believe that our melding of authentic Aboriginal art onto some of the most beautiful silk in the world will appeal to that, that traveller. Australia's Aboriginal arts heritage is so unique and so precious. It, it is unique to Australia. Nowhere else in the world is there an arts culture that is unbroken for over 40,000 years, where the artists that are painting our many designs are, are painting the same ancestral designs um, that their ancestors were, were painting thousands of years ago. And, and that tradition is an unbroken tradition. I worry sometimes because the artists um, that have created most of our designs um, from the, the Walpuri people are elderly ladies um, and often they didn't start painting until they were in their, their 60s or, or the 70s even so they're, they're getting older. Um, luckily there are still younger women artists in those communities who are, are learning from their, their older um, sort of um, relatives, but I, I do worry that when s this generation of Walpuri artists um, uh, are gone, that the, the arts tradition will be gone. And this is our national heritage, it's not just something that belongs to the, the Walpuri people, or um, it's it belongs to all of us.